A proposed budget for the city of Atlanta calls for $2.75 billion in spending during the 2025 fiscal year. So the city says that $17 million will go toward affordable housing, uh, affordable housing trust fund. 11 Allies Molly Oak break down how that fund could actually help people living right here in Atlanta. In Atlanta comes at a cost. The cost of purchase a new home has gotten exorbitantly high. Uh, the rents have gotten exorbitantly high. There's a strong demand for housing, particularly in cities like Atlanta. I mean, we have the Beltline, we have uh, a lot of history and the legacy of the civil rights movement. People want to be in Atlanta. Demand driving up prices for what council member Jason Dozier calls a very limited housing stock. And then the folks that who made Atlanta what it, what it is, people who were born and raised here, who have lived here for generations, uh, their cost of living goes up as well. So we lose a big part of our identity and our culture of our communities and of our city. And so we want to preserve that. That's one reason Dozier says the proposed budget includes $17 million that goes toward the Affordable Housing Trust Fund, which he says the city is fully funding for the first time. It supports programs like eviction defense, protecting renters who uh, have challenges with their landlords. They might be living in unsafe conditions and working to make sure that those renters have uh, the representation that they deserve. Dozier added the fund also works to construct more affordable housing. And work with uh, some of our partners who are trying to uh, build housing for populations like uh, our folks with AIDS and HIV or folks who um, uh, might be recently unsheltered and needing a housing opportunity so that they can get on their feet and find that house and find that apartment that they can be proud of. Building opportunity in the city. And making sure that, that they not only survive in the city, but they thrive in the city. In Atlanta, Molly Oak, 11 Alive News. Atlanta City Council is holding hearings through early June to review the proposed budget before members vote on a final version.